I'm standing here with Justin Kabulka from Kabulka Reptiles, and I'm here with Josh from Cape Fear Reptiles, and we got some great stuff here. I watch these guys on YouTube all the time. You guys really educate. I love that. Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. We had a lot of fun with it, too, yeah. so it's pretty awesome. Did you guys live near each other? Uh, about six hours away. Because you guys are always, like, with each other. Yeah, we're, we're close friends. Yeah. But we get together, we collaborate a little bit on some stuff. It's been a lot of fun. Hey, you guys got some cool stuff. I was looking over your stuff, and I start. What I do is I say, "What would I want to buy if I was here?" And I was looking over, and then you pointed to this, and I was like, "Ooh, yeah. these are cool." Tell us what you got here. Uh, right here, we got a pastel inchy leopard clown. That is some super gene. Can you take that out so we can oh, see absolutely. that? Absolutely. Now, when you guys are coming up with uh, Justin, like the newest thing you want to produce. Right. Um, when you sit down, what, what makes you say, I'm going to mix this with this? Is it random or do you guys have like a, a design plan ahead of time? I have an idea, you know, and usually my idea is whatever el everybody else is not doing. Because a lot of people are going an obvious direction, right. but there's some really cool non-obvious stuff. So I think, how can I go my own way, make something that's just off the beaten path, and usually it ends up being something special hiding there in the rough that people, people won't even see. You make it seem like it's so easy, to, but it's, it's not yeah. easy to come up with something original. It's not. It's, yeah. not. it's really hard, because everybody's doing all the stuff that used to, off the top of your head would be awesome. Right. You know, everybody's doing that. And so I'm just thinking, well, what can I do that's cool or has a lot of potential, but the, the, red, the, 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 the regular person just wouldn't see it there. You know, it'd just be, it's hiding, really. Now, Josh, um, have you gotten to name anything yet? Uh, I'm not really one for those fancy names. I, no? like, I like calling it what it is, putting, yeah. just putting the genes out there, and so nobody, you don't you have don't to. You need add. to insert your ego onto it. That's right. That's right. All right. Explain to us what genes are in here again now. This is the pastel inchy leopard clown. Now, I, my two favorite genes, well, two of my kind of favorite genes, are leopard and clown. Yeah. So that that alone is great, and then the inchy kind of brings out that yellow coloring. It really does tremendously. Maybe we're gonna light on this thing here. And if you, uh, if you look at it next to the Pastel Inchi Clown, you can really see the leopard influence in there. Now, does the leopard give you that single stripe with kind of losing the other little bit of pattern from there? It really does. It, brought, it brings the, uh, the dorsal stripe together, mm. and uh, a lot of that side pattern you get with clowns sort of disappears and disconnects from the stripe. You can see the... Uh, Little teardrops there are no longer connected to the uh, stripes. So. The inchy really makes it very clean looking. It does, and it brings out this gorgeous yellow color. I love the head. The head of the clown is just amazing. Yeah, that's definitely the trademark of the clown is that uh, that head. Now, Justin, what would you say is, is your favorite morph here at this table of all your stuff? Um, I'm really excited about the um, spot nose clown stuff because I was I was yeah. that was my next thing that I was, yeah. pull one out. Let's let's okay, see what they look like because. Spot nose is kind of a cool gene in and of itself, but it really doesn't kind of do anything crazy special until you start mixing it into other things. Shh. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. It's something that's not obvious, but it's something that that uh, Bring it over here in the light. really uh, pops in the now, clowns. What is this? That's pastel spot nose clown. Mm -hmm. And then what does the spot nose do to this? Okay, so a pastel clown is typically really, you know, just a stripe. It's not that bright and it fades out a lot. What you have with the spot nose here is it adds a lot of black outlining, makes the stripe. Is that, go is crazy. That, it looks like, like eyeliner almost. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes that stripe, instead of being a nice stripe, it goes it's all kinds of, you know, weird angles and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you have all this, the teardrops it took and really outlined them and made tons of teardrops with these little uh, spots in them. It, it looks like wild. someone took a black pen and, and went Yeah, it. it went wild, you know, and that's, and that's what I love. Is that's a gene that, who would have thought that it would take it and made it crazy? What does something like this cost? You know, this is priceless to me, you know, that's the first one. Oh, it's but, the first uh, one, okay, <laughs> right. so you're not selling it. No, 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 but you know, it'll, it'll be expensive next year when I bring them to the show. It'll be expensive, no question. Now, what's this? So, this is a lesser spot nose clown. Let's put it in the light here. Yeah, and it does very much a very similar thing in a way where it just adds tons and tons of pattern to a clown. 
You know, if you look around the show, everybody's going crazy over the patternless clowns. I'm going the opposite direction. I'm seeing how much pattern I can put on them. I like, I like that you're going the opposite direction, and I think that that's a smart move. Now, what's this last one? This is a pastel lesser spot nose clown. And this one, we're going so wild at this point, you can't even tell it's a clown anymore, almost. Right, but it still has that outline from the spot yeah, nose. Same thing. Amazing. They're just one's diluted than the X. It's like right. you took turpentine and just kept diluting it down. That's right, but it still has the outline. It should still look amazing as an adult. And we're just going to stay, keep trying to make these bolder and bolder and keep them from washing out. It's really Where cool. would you go from here with this? Can you put anything else in yeah. here that you would okay. like to do? So my other trademark is the leopard clown, kind of like what Josh right. has here. This is my, kind of my trademark stuff. So this is what I call the Batman ball, and I do have big enough ego to name something. You name something. Yeah. <laughs> I so love that. This is the Batman ball, and I call it that because it looks like a bat eater, like the uh, the retic berm. That's crop. right. You're right. It, it does. It looks almost identical to that, and it's got these red teardrops here on the side. These red spots. What jeans are in this? This is the leopard spot nose clown. So you're taking the best of the spot nose, all that pattern. The leopard cleans it up, adds the orange, and this ends up being you know the ultimate. I, I want this one. How much is it? Uh, you're looking at least 10 grand for something. Right, like never this. mind. Yeah, I'll get it next year when it's yeah. a little cheaper. And I, and I would still hate you when you when you bought it for 10 grand. Yeah, I would still hate you. So this is also <laughs> unique. Oh yeah, yeah. I have a couple of these at home, but this is the first time I've ever shown it. We're calling it this the anybody. Batman clown. Batman ball. Batman, Batman ball. ball. Yeah, but it is a, yeah, it is a clown. You heard it here first. That's right. The Batman ball, leopard clown spot nose. Unbelievable, That's guys. Right. You're doing some Thanks great so work, yeah. Appreciate great work, guys. Thank and if, if they want to purchase any of these animals, what's the best place to get in touch with you? Uh, websites, capefearconstrictors.com. Um, what do you do you? Just look up Justin K. Reptiles. You don't have to know how to spell my name to do that. There you go.